So what are we gonna make? What are we gonna make today is veg momos with tomato and Pass it on. Yeah, so everybody can eat them. And as you can see, making veg momos is a pain in the butt, and it's so much easier to make meat momos. But because with veg momos, there's an awful lot of veg chopping. But we're gonna make you do it. And it's gonna be bad. And we're gonna cook them up, and we're gonna eat them. So, Sounds terrible. Just <laughs> yeah. This past Monday, a bunch of us volunteers gathered at Brighter Futures Children's Home to participate in a JVN initiated fundraiser called Eat So They Can. Basically what that means is that we all went to Batical and gathered at the children's home there and we used their kitchen to make momos, which are a dumpling sort of thing. And I thought, what a perfect opportunity to upload a bit of a tour of the home. I actually shot this video three weeks ago, uh, but like I said, this is a good opportunity to actually use it because I've been neglecting it so far. Uh, but first, here are the momos. Basically, these are the instructions to make veg momos. Chop up vegetables. No, no, like really chop them. Smaller. Smaller. Okay. And let me just say that Harry is a chopping machine. He showed us how to chop cabbage with a cup, uh, and now it just seems obvious. It's the perfect way to get it very, very small. Like, why use a knife? Um, maybe a grater might be better, um, but the cup worked really, really, really well. And now you add some oil and some spices to that, and you mix it all up. Then you basically just wrap them in a little dumpling shell, uh, which is just flour and water and you steam them, which I didn't get any video of the steaming, and I didn't get any video of the eating, uh, but they were very, very spicy. Um, I didn't get any video of making the sauce either, but it was like a really spicy tomato sauce. Um, maybe I will look that up later and tell you about that. Okay, so now the home. Okay, so this is actually just outside the room where we, where we were making Momo, so that's all the corn that they picked earlier on, they're drying it for the winter. Um, oh, and this is their solar panel. Jagu is actually in the background talking about how when you need electricity is just when it goes. So they invested in a battery and some solar power. Uh, this is the multi-purpose room slash dining area where we were making all of those momos. Um, and that's Dee Dee walking by. She's one of the caretakers of the kids. Um, and over here are some flowers and bushes, just a bit of a garden. Uh, they grow some vegetables there as well, um, like the corn, I guess, that they're drying. And that's actually a chicken coop, chicken fenced off area. They get some eggs from the chickens. I don't think they kill the chickens themselves. Uh, this is the humble kitchen where we steamed all of our momos. And over here, you'll see it in a second, is the boys' bedroom. Uh, I'm not quite sure how many boys they have, but they've got seven beds there. Um, I think there's 14 kids all together. So I think some of the boys sleep in another room. Uh, two of the older boys, I think, but I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Uh, another good look there. This is another extra bedroom. I think this might be the boys' other room there. Uh, could be wrong. Uh, and this is either a guest room or a caretaker's room. And another guest room slash to caretaker's room. Not sure which is which. Um, these are the bathrooms and the showers. Uh, over here is the girls' room. Um, there are less girls in the homes than boys, just in general. Um, I'm not quite sure the exact numbers, but you can see by the less beds. And over here is the office, um, which is, you know, pretty good office, I guess, by their standards. And over here is just the play area where they play badminton every so often. Uh, and that is Brighter Futures Children's Home. Um, you can see some of the kids there with some of the volunteers. So that was Brighter Futures. Hopefully I'll be able to get to show you a bit of Shining Stars. I've got some video of Shining Stars as well. It's a bigger home and it's the one that I keep going back to on the weekends. Um, yes, this is a different shirt. This took me two days to record because I had to go to class while I was recording yesterday. Um, and I guess that's basically it. Um, goodbye. Is computer no, sick? No, I'm, 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 I'm just. I 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 just